Hello and welcome to the Dr. Oz Checkup on Yahoo Health. Detoxing has become a popular way to jumpstart a diet, but I look at it as a way to cleanse your system of toxins. Now, there are plenty of these detox systems you ought to avoid because they can be frivolous or even ridiculous, but many are very thoughtful and well-researched with sincere benefits. A common to all of them is that the last thing you want to do is start a detox plan and then quit it the next day because something derailed you. So I'm going to share with you some of the biggest mistakes you can make when you try to detox so you can avoid them and get the most out of your efforts. First, that cold turkey approach, which is common with a lot of detox plans, can be dangerous if you have a high sugar diet or drink alcohol, use a lot of caffeine or smoke. When you quit these habits suddenly and make a dramatic shift onto a detox program, you'll most likely suffer withdrawal side effects. So think about slowly weaning yourself off as many toxins as you can before you start your program. Ease your way into it by giving up one thing per day, like alcohol or meat or sodas, leading up to your start date. Next, people often think detox plans mean starving yourself. Wrong. You don't have to deprive yourself of calories. Smart eating that promotes natural, unprocessed foods is the basis of any good detox plan. In fact, I've created a great 48-hour detox plan on DrOz.com that does not limit the amount of food that you can eat at all. Instead, you ought to incorporate plenty of healthy detox foods like broccoli, kale, artichokes, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage. Get creative with these. Drinking green tea is another way to help boost the body's natural detox system. Another mistake that a lot of folks make is insufficient water intake. Now, some people don't fully realize the importance of water in a detox. Staying hydrated can help prevent some of the most common side effects that occur when starting a detox for the first time. Now, these include nausea, diarrhea, fatigue, sore muscles, and headaches. And guess what? You even get cranky. Plus, you need water to help flush out the toxins that your body will be removing out of its own tissues. Next, poor research before you start can cause lots of problems. You need to understand which cleanse or detox plan is best for you. Some are designed to eliminate toxins, others to promote weight loss. Look for plans that have a balance of nutrients and do not severely restrict your calories. The overall point is better health. So choose wisely and do your research first. And always remember to consult your doctor before starting a plan. You'll be more likely to stick to it if you have a specific reason for doing it. And last, when your detox program is over, many people make the big mistake of diving right back into the diet habits they had before their detox, like drinking lots of caffeine and alcohol and eating large amounts of sugar. Big mistake. Instead, try to incorporate detox foods into your diet at least once a week and create healthier habits that will last you a lifetime. That's it for today's checkup. Be sure to tune in to the Dr. Oz Show on TV Monday through Friday for more helpful advice. And now your health tip of the day brought to you by Metamucil. Did you know that fiber does more than you think? It can help lower your cholesterol. It's true. Psyllium fiber's gelling action traps and helps gently remove waste and reduce cholesterol. Taking Metamucil every day is an easy way to add fiber to your diet, which is good for your heart, your digestive system, and your healthy lifestyle. Metamucil really does more than you think.